Hello everyone and welcome to another Google Ads tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to apply auto tagging in Google Ads. Before we go there, make sure you subscribe and like the video. It helps tremendously to create new content and off we go. So the first thing you need to do is to obviously access your Google Ads account. Now, once you access your Google Ads account on the left hand side, there is going to be this menu. You're going to click on account settings. And once you go to account settings, you need to find this option that is called auto tagging. Then you simply enable auto tagging, you save, and that's it. So one more time, you land in your Google Ads. On the left hand side, you have this menu. You go to settings, account settings, and you need to find auto tagging and just click enable auto tagging and click save. Once you enable auto tagging inside your Google Analytics, this traffic is going to come under Google slash CPC. So when you go to your session source slash medium dimension under traffic acquisition, this traffic is going to always be labeled as Google slash CPC. And when you visit your session default channel group, this traffic is going to go and sit under cross network if you are running performance max campaigns, or it is going to sit under paid search if you are running search campaigns. Now, can you change this to your own logic? Maybe you don't like the traffic to be labeled as Google slash CPC. The answer is yes. All you have to do is go here to campaign URL builder. You need to insert your website, insert the campaign source and medium, and then pick up the tagged URL here and use it for your campaigns. And if you do that, then you are going to label the traffic in a way that you like under session source slash medium. Keep in mind that if you label the traffic in a way that Google Analytics 4 cannot understand, then you may have a scenario where this traffic is going to be grouped under unassigned. So I'm going to place a link in the description that will give you access to what Google Analytics expects to see under source and medium in order to group traffic correctly. And that's it for today. Again, please subscribe and like the video. It helps a lot to create new content. Have a great day in any time zone and see you in the next one.